Hi planners, thanks so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. It's me, Chloe from Chloe Tree Plans. And I'm really excited because today I'm going to just be chatting with you all and doing a quick like planner chatter slash check in video and show you how I'm updating my planners and one of my notebooks and just really talk to you all and show you kind of what I have going on this week in my various planners. You all know that I use different planners for different things and I definitely use more than one at a time. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to check in since it's pretty much mid-January and kind of do like a mid-month check-in with you all, see how you're doing, um, and also talk about what's going on right now in my life and in my planner lineup. So let's not waste any time and get right into this video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up when you give me a thumbs up it lets youtube know that you're enjoying my content and it helps others who are interested in planner related content to find my channel so make sure you do that and you want to make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe now with the little red button in the bottom right corner when you subscribe it helps me to continue to grow um, it helps me to be able to get more collaborations with more brands and really grow my platform so Thanks in advance for that. I just really wanted to get into some content and do some planner chatter and not make it so formal. So I'm hoping I can get through this with very minimal editing. Um, I just wanna plan and show you all what I have going on and not edit because I have a busy week this week with work. So um, this is my way of still coming to you with content without me having to like edit and have a million things in my description and just like be free and just, you know, give you some, some pure, <laughs> edit free for the most part content. All right, so let's get into it. So um, the first thing I have going on here with my planner stash slash lineup is I wanted to show you all kind of um, what I try to do every week. So you all know that I enjoy using Erin Condren planners and notebooks and things like that. So I have a lot of covers. Like I have, <laughs> I probably have a hundred covers, but I have not counted. Um, I have a lot of covers though. So every week I have this notebook that I use for theocratic and Bible journaling notes. So I have um, this notebook here and I do all kinds of different notes in it. And so I want to change the cover out pretty much weekly because I have so many covers and I do use this at least three times a week. So um, a good way to kind of use these covers is by changing the cover on my notebook. So I'm just going to take this one off. This was the cover for last week and put a new one on. And this new cover is from the Erin Condren Black History Month collection. They did send the collection over to me. Um, I haven't posted it yet because <laughs> I have not had time to edit it. So this is why I'm filming this video. Um, and so I will be posting this video soon with the Black History Month collection, the, the full um, collection that they sent me. So I will be posting about that, um, but I just have not gotten around to it yet. So anyway, so I just wanted to show you all that I do pretty much try to change my notebook covers out weekly. It just makes it easier for me to be able to really you know use what i have because y'all i have so many planner covers like when they send me collaborations they usually send me new planner covers and i also buy planner covers because there are certain ones that i want and you know to use for my own taste and so between the ones they send me and the ones that i go ahead and purchase i mean it gets a little bit crazy so Gotta use at least some of them. I probably will um, get rid of some of them, but right now, um, this is what I got going on. So anyway, this planner cover is really cute from the Black History Month collection. So definitely wanted to share that with you all and show you how cute that looks with the rose gold coil. Um, not sure if you can really tell, but there's a rose gold coil on there. That's what we have there. And while we are on the topic of the Black History Month collection, I also have this lovely planner here. So I'm just gonna give a little rundown. Um, it does have a cover from the collection. And then I went ahead and just kind of like set it up a little bit, y'all. Okay, like here's the planner chatter part of this video. So to give a little background, I have not been a horizontal planner user in like a long 
time like it's been a minute since the last time i used the horizontal um i i'm gonna show you my first horizontal like creative planner of course i had horizontal planners throughout the, throughout the years because that's the typical format um for a planner but let me just show you so this is my first horizontal planner okay this is the one that i used um it's from happy planner it is a happy planner mini and this was my first time really using a horizontal planner creatively. And so I really enjoyed it. As you can see, y'all, I did not miss a week. Like literally did not miss a week. Did something every single week. Did some type of stickers, some type of layout every single week in this planner. I mean, this was my favorite planner I think this is actually probably my favorite planner of all time, to be honest with you. And the reason I say that is because I just loved this this theme. It was Daydreamer by Happy Planner. Um, and I was obsessed. I took this planner everywhere. I threw it in my purse. Um, I wasn't a big monthly user, as you can see. Um, I mostly use my, you know, uh, digital calendar for monthly views. Um, and so, y'all, I mean, I don't even know how else to tell you that I love this planner other than just showing you the commitment, like the level of commitment that I had to this planner was insane, okay? And so with that being said, <laughs> I, you know, have not been a horizontal planner since. I just felt like it wasn't enough space for me the following year. This year it was enough space, but then when I turned around and got the next planner for the next year, I think this is 2000, let me see what year this is. This is 2018, okay? When I turned around and got my 2019 planner, okay, this just wasn't enough space. I was really getting into budgeting. I was getting into some other things. And so um, a lot more content creation. And so this just did not hold enough, you know, plan enough plans. Like <laughs> I just, this didn't hold enough. It was just too tiny. And so I didn't get another mini. I went ahead and got a different planner. And I think I moved on to getting an Erin Condren life planner and some something else. So that is this planner. I'm going to have to do a full flip through of this planner because I'm just so proud of the consistency here. Um, so let me know in the comments if you'd like a full video of that planner or that planner and another one I have. I can show you those are the two I did entire year with no skips. I can show you that. So if you want to see that content, let me know in the comments. But um, I have this planner now and Erin Condren sent me this as a part of the Black History Month collection. And, you know, they could have just sent the covers, but they sent a planner too, which I'm really grateful for because, y'all, I'm in love all over again. And <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this because, you know, I just always, I'm a daily person now. I just feel like I need a daily planner in my life. But there is something about this planner that really captivated me and made me want to use it. And I like started setting it up right away. First of all, I'm sure the A5 size has a lot to do with it. This size is really compact, but still has plenty of room to write. And so that was definitely attractive to me. The second thing is it's Flora. And if you are a subscriber of mine, you know I love the Flora pattern by Erin Condren. You know how I feel about it, okay? And then the third thing is that I have not had an A5 coil yet. And so I have the A5 agenda, um, but I have not had an A5 coil from Erin Condren until now. So it's definitely new. So I played around a little bit with seeing how highlighters looked in here, how pins looked. And then I went ahead and went to when I got the planner. I got the planner on a Friday, so that's when I started. And y'all, I'm obsessed with how it looks. I'm obsessed with the amount of space. So this is like super new for me um to be back into a horizontal and i love it okay so this is what i have so far for this week um super crisp and clean that's what i like about it um and this was just like a little sticky i had from um a freebie and so this is what we're doing all right this is i just love it i have to i have to see it through you know and so i'm gonna tell you what i've been using with this now i will not have a link to this i got this here okay this this what is this called this case from simply gilded i am not sure if they have them regularly i got this case in a box so like the subscription box i'm not sure y'all you will have to google simply gilded g-i-l-d-e-d -E -D. um google them and see if you can find it if you're looking for this um but i i don't know i don't remember so i won't be linking this but um this is how it looks on the inside 
this is the pen I'm using. I'll put this link somewhere in the description. And so um, this is what I use to hold my pens and highlighters that I want to use. So anyway, um, I am gonna go ahead and fill in some stuff for today and possibly tomorrow. I have that I want to fill, right? Which is what I'm doing right now. promote my workshop which I have a planner workshop um it is planning goal setting and a meetup so if you've never been to a planner meetup before it is a treat you want to make sure you go ahead and check out the link in my descriptions description below and in my comments um I do only have five seats left at this time so if you are interested you want to check that out um, so you can get the date, time, and other information to make sure you can attend. So that link will be in the comments and in the description if you are interested in the workshop. And then the other thing I needed to do for today was go to Target to get a couple last minute things for dinner because I had most of the things I needed, but you know, there's always that one or, one or two things. So um, I did do those things. So I'm back planning a little bit here. So I'm gonna use my... Um, Highlighter here that I marked that it is matching January and July. On here, I went ahead and labeled that because that is the color. And I got this idea from Saray Plans. Um, she posted a video about these highlighters and I was excited to use them because they match the floral color pattern very well. So I went ahead and did pretty much all three of these, right? So yep, I'm back planning here. And back planning is just when you write down the things you already did for the day. So that's where we're at. I did still use my daily planner today, which is why I didn't fill this in. Since I'm trying this out and it's brand new, I'm still using my daily planner because I just love that structure. But um, yeah, uh, these are two things I was supposed to do yesterday, but I did not do either one of them, filming and then um, editing that video. I didn't do that. So um, <laughs> I need to, to do that to edit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put here to edit both videos tomorrow. The Black History Month collection video and the planner chatter, which is what I'm doing right now. I need to edit this video as well. And I used to have a, a sticker that said, let's try this again, but I don't think I have it anymore. I think I used them all. So, I'm just gonna have to make my own sticker, so to speak, over here. So I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use a um, sticky note. Just letting y'all in a little bit to my thought process here. And I think I wanna use, what I love about how clear this is, is that I can just like, you know, do this to see what, what stickers I wanna use. I never use this sticker, so I'm going to use it but I'm gonna cut it and round it out so it fits better. So I'm gonna cut it about here because this sticker just never really works for my spread. It's always too long. And then I'm gonna round out those edges a little bit so that it can look like the rest of it. And then I'm going to stick it on here. So I got to find my Tombow. This is my adhesive that I like to use. Um, so I'm just going to make this sticky note an actual sticker. And you know what's funny is I was just reminded by a friend that I have a sticker maker that I could run these through. And I have not used it in like the last year. So I'm going to have to go ahead and use that soon. Um, I should have written on this before putting it down, but I did not. So here we are. I'm trying to line those lines up. Why not, right? So oh, it's too far over. Let's bring that back some. Still want to line it up if possible. But we're going to bring it back a little bit from that edge. There we go. And I'm also going to add, I have some planner cake stickers. So let's see what I got going on here. Um, I think I'm gonna use this sticker sheet 
and see if there are, there are any scripts that I can use here. So let's see. For this one, I'm just going to put, don't forget. Um, yeah, let's do, let's do don't forget. And I'm just going to put it here so it can match the others. And I'm going to use a different pen because I have a feeling my other pen isn't going to write well on that paper. So this is my um, liquid flare, paper made liquid flare pen. I had put something underneath here so I can write better. Y'all know this is my trick. I put something underneath the planner if it's kind of high to give me better um, angles here. So priority and then I'm going to put edit videos. I'm gonna put, let's try this again. All right, that's just like a reminder to myself that I said I was gonna do that Monday and I said I was gonna do that Tuesday and I said I was gonna do it Wednesday and I still didn't do it. So I think this is a good planner for me to just be accountable with because look, that daily planner, once I flip that page, I kind of forget about what was on the last page, which is the point, so I can have a fresh start. But at the same time, where is the accountability? And if I didn't do something the day before, that really needs to get done. So this might be a good planner for that, you know? And that's why I like trying out new layouts to see what works well for what in what season of my life. So I just wanted to show y'all this. I just thought it was cool. And I really love this planner a lot. And I cannot wait to, you know, really share more of it with you because I think I'm going to be back in here and let me know in the comments if you are a um horizontal planner and this is your your thing because I have not been and I'm really loving this so might be getting into it um next up also wait real quick let's get into how this cover matches this coil like I'm in love in like it's giving rich it's giving luxury you know what i mean like i see myself putting this in like a gucci bag a louis vuitton bag like it's giving luxury planner and i know there's really no such thing because paper is paper you know but just the design you know art right the artwork on here is giving like it's, it's giving luxury and i love that so anyway there we go with that planner next up i want to go ahead and i want to look at my daily planner really quickly since we're kind of on the subject of daily planning um we got my daily planner and you know this is what i have going on in it right now just gonna kind of show you real quickly so when i open my planner you know i got a bunch of stuff over here i went ahead and added these flora puffy stickers from the um you know sticker subscription that i had um and so now when i open I wanted to show you this dashboard page just because I'm really proud of how it looks. This is so stinking cute. And I'm sticking with the color theme for the most part for this planner. I decided I want to do muted tones. I want to do like these blues and yellows and soft colors. I don't want to do like super like, you know, the rainbow colors or anything like that. In this planner, I want to do like the muted pastel vibe you know so that's where we're going with this layout so this is my week so far as you can see it is very minimalistic okay i played around with some um highlighters the new highlighters i got just to see what it looked like i'm not good at highlighting y'all like <laughs> i'm learning my strengths and i don't think highlighting in a decorative way is one of them okay and so it just looked really plain and i'm okay with that because i do have other planners that i decorate in and that gives me that creative you know juice or whatever but then i was like dang this looks really plain i can't even you know do anything with this content wise i mean i can you can post your planner however you want but for me personally i want a little bit more to show so then um today this morning i went ahead and did this spread before work so i thought this was really nice and you know still cute you know still nice um and i use my planner kate stickers over here as well as these stickers these three like little floral bits are from um the happy planner they did like a floral box a while back a couple maybe last year or two years ago and so that is where that is from so there's that so then for today or tomorrow i should say i'm going to go ahead and use this page and just show you how i plan for my daily planner 
and what that would look like in a more decorative way. And so when, when two pages are kind of like facing each other like this, I like to make them similar. Um, kind of weird to me to do them different when they're just right next to each other. And I'm opening it up to that page. So that is why I will be doing it that way. I have this little sticky note to tell me what is going on tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my Planner Kate stickers here just to like spruce it up a little, you know? So I have this sticker sheet, I have this sticker sheet. These are the sticker sheets like from the margin here. So I am gonna use one of these. So I'm gonna use the purple one since I used blue before. Um, I really love how they fit on here. So I'm gonna use this one. And got my pocket scissors. So I'm gonna use those to just cut off this piece because it's a little bit too long. And I'm gonna use this piece somewhere around here. Maybe I'll do it here. Just because I have it, you know, why not? And I am going to use, do I wanna do all purple? I think I'm gonna do purple, why not? I'm gonna use the purple for my 10 a.m. meeting here. And again, for my 2.30 meeting. 2.30, and I think this goes all the way down, I'm trying to remember what time it ends because I wanna make sure that I'm blocking off that entire time. I think it's 2.30 to 4.30. For this area here, I'm gonna get my tweezers, my craft tweezers, and I'm gonna play a little game of, let's add these little dots. And y'all, I think I'm gonna do all purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this purple um, from the flora. Instead of doing it multicolored, how I normally do it, I'm just gonna do purple. And that's what I love about having all these dots. There are so, many dots on this page i love it so i have plenty and the real reason why i picked this up with the pleasers and not my hands is because it keeps the other dots from coming up when i keep bending the page a lot the dots kind of come up so i'm trying to get just the dot i want to bend and not all the others so that's kind of why i'm like sticking to the tweezers And then for this little area at the bottom, I'm gonna use these boxes, which I'm a little bit obsessed with these boxes, okay? From Planner Kate, a little bit obsessed, which is why I became an affiliate because I was like, oh, I need these. Like, I need these daily. <laughs> um, I try to like, save them a little bit so I don't use them exactly daily but I use them pretty often I don't really want to invade the tape at the bottom the sticker at the bottom so I'm just going to invade that area instead I don't think I have that many to do's for that day how dang cute is that I think it's cute I'm gonna put these back in my agenda that's why I have them punched that way and I think it's cute I love it um, let's see what kind of like word stickers we have here. Um, meeting. So we got meeting here. That's what it is. And then I'm going to put work here, even though, you know, it's all work. And then I'm going to put work from home here just as like a little starter to my day. I'm working from home tomorrow and I think that's oh I need to work out as well so I'm gonna put workout here I will be working out tomorrow so I love how these words look on here look like little like kind of like I wrote it myself so I love how that turned out and of course y'all know me I'm gonna use a black pen 
Um, <laughs> Y'all know me, I, I gotta use a black pen. I don't know how to use anything else. Um, I'm trying to see if this purple matches. I'm thinking yes, right? Yeah, I think it's close enough. So we're gonna take this purple sticker, use the Tombow again, and just kind of go to work on that. And I think that's it. There's really nothing else I feel like I really need to add to this spread. I think it's I think it's good. Um, now I'm just gonna write in a few things. I wish I had a lunch sticker. I did order some from Kleiner Kate. I ordered a lunch sticker from her. Um with the font because I'm always needing a lunch sticker for every day. So I figured why not? Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my AM routine here. Um, I also ordered AM routine stickers, just putting that out there. Definitely did. PM routine, it's gonna go here. I can't wait till I get those stickers. I ordered them today. Um, so they should be here soon. Can't wait. And then I'm going to do for the lunch, I think I wanna do like a Flora sticker. I have this sticker from OK Plans. There's also one that um, comes with the Erin Condren Life Planner, the eight, the seven by nine in Flora. I just didn't see it right away, so. I didn't feel like looking for it in full transparency. Oh, I need to move that. That's what I like about using stickers. You can just move them. Um, that goes here for lunch. That's pretty much it. I think this looks really good. Um, some regular to-dos. I do have, um, I accidentally put the wrong thing here. This should be my meeting my midweek meeting here so well, now i think we're good <laughs> of course i have some additional to do's there are things that go on outside of you know my day to day i'm actually gonna put my pm routine here because i'm in the mood to check it off all right so i'll put my pm routine here and then up here well, i don't know what i have going on for tomorrow exactly i know i need to post to Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. And I need to update my blog because it's lacking for sure. Um, I think this turned out really great. I love how it's all the same color and color scheme. I think it looks really cute with that purple. And, you know, I'm happy with it. So that's just like one little way to creatively plan. Um, some might think it's a little bit plain, but it's my daily planner. So I don't get too crazy in here, honestly. Um, I try to use, I like to use my creative juices with my um, vertical planner. It's a little bit easier for me. Because with this planner, I want to be able to clearly see like what's going on. And when I add too many stickers, I'm not able to really see that as well. So that's kind of the main objective here. How dang cute is that? I love it. I love it. I could add a flower over here somewhere, huh? That would make it look a little bit more symmetrical. So this is kind of where that those flowers are from. Um, this like older sticker book that I have. Um, we're gonna add this half sticker somewhere. It doesn't really fit here. It, I would cover up the times on this side. So I have to put it on this side, which doesn't look right. So I'm gonna add it at the top. Yeah, and then I'm gonna put something over there if I have a sticker small enough. Let's see if I have the same flower. Yeah, I do. Up here. Let's see what we got. Cutting stickers in half is like the best thing ever. 
And here maybe? I'll do here. I think it looks great. So now it's a little bit more even, super functional yet. I, I love the color scheme. I just, I probably said that too many times already. So I'm gonna let it go. But yeah, moving on to the next planner. Next up, I have my routines planner. Y'all know I use this planner for routines. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a vertical colorful life planner with the MCC. And yeah, um, I have not been writing my routines out this month or this week, I should say. And, you know, I just want to get on it. So this was last week. And then this is this week. And so <laughs> I'm just a little bit behind. So I'm just going to talk to y'all while I finish filling it out. So um, this week has been a little bit crazy. It's been going by really fast because I've been busy during my full-time job and then also trying to create content. So, um, you know, that's usually a good thing when I'm busy. But at the same time, I feel like the week is just like flying by and I'm still not able to like get some stuff done. I'm definitely taking it easy and not being hard on myself over it, but it's just something that I'm sure we all experience where you're like, where did the week go? I didn't get down half of the half of the things that I really wanted to. Um, but, you know, one thing I wanted to say about creating routines is that even if you don't do anything but your routine, you've worked towards your overall, overall wellness and a goal that you have. And so for me, you know, of course, there are things that are not listed in here that I do as part of a routine, like, you know, um, showering and, you know, my different um, things that I do for, um, you know, getting clean and getting ready and around the house. Like there's no cleaning in this routine, but of course I clean pretty much every day. So like <laughs> there are things not listed in here. And so for me, I can't write every single thing I do all day in here. Like it just, it doesn't prove to be functional for me, but at the same time, like we all know that there are things we do that we don't document. And so I kind of want to just encourage y'all to know that even if you're not checking off things at the, the rate that you would like to check them off, or even if you're not checking off anything at all, you're still being productive in ways that you don't even really pay attention to. So I just want to, you know, encourage you all in that way. Um, because even if you don't notice, there are things you're doing, especially if you're a caregiver to elderly parents, or if you are taking care of children or grandchildren, um, you're definitely doing things <laughs> that you're not writing down that mean a lot and that are very valuable. So I just want to make a note of that because I think we lose sight sometimes of some of the things we do every day that really matter. And, you know, we become hard on ourselves over things that are not that serious. At the same time, I totally understand being like, yeah, you know, I want to give myself grace, but I also want to hustle when I can. And I respect that because I'm the same way. Like, I, I want to give myself grace, but I don't want it to be to the point where I'm making unnecessary excuses and not getting done some of the things that I really want to get done for myself, you know, because I... I'm depending on me. Like, it's not about anyone else depending on me. I'm depending on me to get some of the things done that I want to get done. So I also very much so respect and understand that process, you know, of like being kind to yourself. And also when you know you have the capacity, being like, okay, let me get on it, you know, because I have these goals that I want to do. And so that was how it was with my workshop. Um, I've been putting together this workshop for the last couple months and I just, I was so afraid to, you know, send it to my um, subscribers and followers and I didn't know what to do. I, I just was like, you know, I kept saying, what if this goes wrong or what if that goes wrong? And I'm like, well, if I don't press send on this, nothing will go wrong, but also nothing will go right. <laughs> and so I had to really just take a step back and realize that it was most important for me to go after what I really wanted and and put the fear aside. And for me, that's really hard because I'm someone who wants to do things right. And I was really afraid that if I launched this workshop, all these things would go wrong. And most of the things that I thought would go wrong in preparation for the workshop did not. <laughs> you know, everything's fine. Like, I didn't have any issues with people making purchases. I didn't have any issues with people being confused about dates and times. None of that. 
and you know I gotta give myself a little bit more credit for you know having decent communication skills etc um <laughs> you know being able to put together this content that I've been putting together for work I mean I work in higher education I've been working in higher education for um five years and really more if you count my time as a student worker and so I, you know I've been around higher ed for 10 years at this point in education for 10 years and doing different you know leading different workshops and classes and you know for me to not believe in myself and knowing I have all this experience is crazy you know what I mean like I mean I lead workshops for people who are paying to be at a university you know <laughs> so I'm like if I can lead workshops for people paying all that tuition then I'm sure I can lead my own workshop for the public and for people in the planner community and bring that same skill set and talent to the planner community so that is where I'm at I'm not going to fill these out because I have a feeling that it's going to change. I know I'm not going to exercise this weekend, just being real, because I've been exercising all week. But I do still want to stretch. So I'm going to put, I used the wrong pen for that. Whoops. I'm just going to roll with it. Stretch. Probably not going to journal either. Just being real. I'll probably double up. And, of course, meds and vitamins. And so I'll just repeat that over here. So normally I would put my dinner plans down here, but to be honest, I'm flying by the seat of my pants. Tonight we're having chicken. Yesterday we had <laughs> red beans and rice sausage and, oh no, Monday we had red beans and rice sausage and um and vegetables. Um, and we had leftovers and then we have chicken. So, you know, I'm flying by the seat of my pants with a meal plan this week, which is not the best, but you know, it's it's my best this week. It's my personal best. And I still cooked, you know, Monday and today so we're doing good you know we're in the right direction it's just not you know as polished as I would like so I'm not gonna fake the funk in this area <laughs> I'm just gonna you know present to you what I have going on so I like to put dinner plans here it helps me for routines it also helps me be able to look back and look at some of the things I made so that I can go ahead and make them again <laughs> you know how that is if you are the primary person in your house that cooks dinner then you know how much of a struggle that can be so of course as always I'm going to put the links to everything I possibly can in my description below when you use those links it helps me be able to grow my platform and continue to buy things to show you all <laughs> on this platform so if you um are making a purchase today or not please go ahead and click those links especially the Erin Condren ones in my description because it lets Erin Condren know you're enjoying my content and helps me to be chosen for future collaborations so um go ahead and click those links when you get a chance it doesn't cost you anything additional at all um if you don't want to make a purchase again doesn't cost you to click the link so um that is what we have for this week y'all I wanted to kind of stick with the blue because last week I really covered it up as you can see and I wasn't in the mood to do that again this week we'll see what happens next week I'm going to try to find some blue stickers for next week so that I again don't have to try to find you know or cover up all that blue so I'm gonna try to find some blue stickers for next week as well and that is flora washi tape going on there so I hope y'all enjoyed this little catch-up I think it was a good little chat and I can't wait to see what you all think the best part of these videos is when you all respond to me in the comments and I get to see what you think about some of the things that I said and some of the things going on with you all in your personal lives I love to read it and go back and forth with you in the comments so comment below um what kind of emoji are we doing today y'all let's do a Let's do like a positive emoji. So that could be like a heart, a hug, a cheer emoji. Like give yourself a positive emoji in the comments um, to cheer yourself on, right? Like to, you know, positive positivity is what we're going with today. That's that's the vibes, okay? So go ahead and put something like that in the comments. Any type of positive emoji, a heart, a hug, handshake, I don't know, anything that represents positivity to you in your life. And make sure you go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Cloetry Plans. I will see you all in the next video.